What you were looking at here is the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. The Note line has always been about being the biggest and most powerful, and both of these phones are powerhouses. But you can get other big, powerful Android phones now. So what is Samsung doing this time around to make this thing feel like, well, a Note? First, well, the most obvious thing that makes a Note a Note is the stylus, the S Pen. And Samsung has two really big updates here. You can still take notes on the lock screen right when you pull the S Pen out. But now Samsung Notes can read those notes, so it can search for them, it does OCR, you can even copy it and paste plain text in another app, or you can export a Word document of your text if that's what you want to do. They've also added an accelerometer and a gyroscope to the stylus, and so you can use it as a remote control, kind of like a wand. So in the camera, you can like go left and right, change between modes and up and down, and even do a little swirly motion. It's kind of wild. The second reason you might be interested in the Note 10 is DeX. Now, I know what you're thinking, nobody uses Dex Dieter, come on, but hang on. With the Note 10, what's new is they actually have apps for the Mac or Windows where it runs Dex right there. So you can use the computer you already have and have a little window for controlling stuff on your phone. It's also really convenient if you want to drag and drop stuff. So you can actually just drag and drop a file or an image or something from your PC to your phone. It's a totally new thing for Dex and I'm actually really excited to try it. Number three, and this is the reason people usually buy the Note, it just has every spec you could ask for. So both of these phones use a Snapdragon 855 processor, and on the Note 10, you've got eight gigs of RAM and 250 gigs of storage, which is a pretty darn good default. On the Note 10 Plus, though, you have an option to get 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, and it has a slot for a micro SD card for further storage expansion. Now, this big phone has a 4300 milliamp battery. The little one's 3500. Don't know exactly how long that's gonna last in terms of like all day, but it's gonna be all day. I'm sure it'll be fine. Number four, it's just a really nice phone. I mean, it's really good build quality. It's got this classic 90 degree corner that all notes have. There's basically no bezel. You really have to search for it to see it. If I had to complain though, I would complain that there's no headphone jack. Samsung says I took it out to make room for the battery and sure, I guess that's fine, but you know, I'm sad. The other thing that Samsung has changed is they moved all the buttons. They're now on the left-hand side and there's just three, two for the volume rocker and one for power, which also can double as a Bixi button. Now, the S10 comes in four colors. They're all called Aura, because, I don't know. This is the Aura Halo. There's also black and white, which is gonna be available everywhere. And then there's a Samsung.com and Best Buy exclusive of Aura Blue. Number five, and it seems weird to put this last, but the cameras are really good. It's basically the same camera setup as the Galaxy S10. It's been tweaked a little bit, but Samsung has added some video features. So there's a cute thing where you can do bokeh and live focus and video, that's fine. But the thing I'm really interested to try is the microphone focus. So you can actually zoom in and it does beam forming on three microphones to only pull sound from the thing that you're zoomed in on. Really excited to try that. There's also a time of flight camera, but they're not really using that for any camera effects just yet. So those are the five things. Do they add up to it being a note? I don't know, we'll review it and we'll see. The little one is gonna come out for 949, the Note Plus is gonna be 1099, and a maxed out Note Plus is gonna be 1199, and they're gonna be available on August 23rd. I will say, I think I'm more intrigued by the smaller Note 10. It's about the same size as say a Galaxy S10. It's been a super long time since we've had a really pocketable phone that had a stylus. Maybe what the Note needs isn't to be bigger and better and more powerful, but actually smaller.